Good morning, everybody. Um, I've been requested by uh, to say something about my experience as a grantee of uh, an ERC, ERC advanced grant. I realize here that most of you are young people, much younger than, than me. So maybe you are more interested in starting and consolidating grants. But maybe my experience uh, can help you because you are unfortunately, unfortunately getting someday older. And someday you will apply, if not next uh, call, but someday also for a, for a, um, uh, an advanced grant. And on the other hand, I think that um, advanced, in general, ERC grants share a similar spirit in many aspects. So I think that there are not so many differences, maybe little, little in the profile, but also the spirit of the, of the grants is relatively similar, although the procedures are also different. In ERC, in advanced grants, you don't have any interview as the ones that you have in other calls. But apart from that, also you have also to write the same, the same, the same applications, the same part of the application, and so on. So I got my my grant in. Um, can you see? Yeah, I got my uh, grant my grant in the call of 2012, and maybe that's specific in this case. My call was on engineering, so I work and I've always been working in research in engineering field. In fact, the title of the grant that I was uh, given was on computational design of engineering materials. Uh, first, uh, just as, as, as uh, Antonio did, as indeed also, I will present something about my profile, or my uh, background. And first, let me tell you that I'm, I'm I work at, the, at this university, at the Technical University of Catalonia, since many years ago, 32, I think, I started. And I work in the civil engineering school, it's called Engineers de Camins. I've always been there. I've always made research on engineering fields, specifically in numerical simulation. And I do my research in one of the centers associated to UPC, as the International Center for Numerical Engineering, CIMNE. And also, in addition, I do my regular duties in, as, as professor, teaching, and so on, lecturing at the, at the university. And I expect to fulfill also my obligations in that sense. But I think that it's, uh, the message, or my first message is that I just uh, work at our university. Although I do my research in one of the centers that are, uh, associated to this uh, university, uh, UPC is a patron on, 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 on my on Simne, and I do I, I do work on on engineering fields. Maybe not yours, but engineering fields, civil engineering is a very applied engineering field, and I do all my work. I've done always all my all my research work on this. Typically, uh, as I said, I work scientifically. That my field is called computational mechanics, so that science that is devoted to uh, model uh, physical problems, typically engineering problems, that can be expressed in terms of partial differential equations, and then solve them uh, in terms of uh, numerical methods in order that they can be solved with the help of computers. That's what this is, is computational mechanics. This is a broad field in engineering. Many, it, it's shared by mathematicians and also sometimes by, by engineers. Engineers play a fundamental role in this community. We, have maybe, we are now organizing in July a conference here. We expect 4,000 attendees in that delegate in this, in this conference. So it's a relatively broad community. And I bought, I've bought on, uh, I've worked essentially on fracture mechanics, so in, on materials. I'm not a material scientist, by the way. So my expertise, if any, is on computational mechanics on using algorithmics, computers, and numerical methods, and so on, applied to different problems. So I'm not a, 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 a material scientist, although my projects somehow plays around um, this material design. 
Well, I would like to, to, to as Antonio said, did, I would like to present a little bit what was my um, my CV, so that, that part that I contributed in, the, in my application as a curriculum vitae. And I have to say, it's not here, yeah. Um, that is what uh, I did, that, that the CV that I presented as, as to 2011, as I said, I work on the Department of Standard Materials at Civil Engineering School. I did all my career in, uh, in UPC. Well, not in my career. I, I, I got my, my degree, my bachelor at Technical University of Valencia because it was so long ago that civil engineering was not offered by, by UPC at that time. Anyway, I came here. I did my PhD in UPC. And uh, just, um, I've been professor here for 33 years. I started as assistant professor in 1979, and then I got my full my, my professorship. I've done some sabbatical stages, not too many, unfortunately, because of my other obligations. That's a problem you have in the university. I did one sabbatical year in the States, in the Colorado University, and another semester in Stanford University years ago. I've got also some awards. Maybe the most important is the Award of Computational Mechanics that I was given in 2008, and some international and other, other awards. I um, also participate as, 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 as a review, uh, an editorial board. I am editor of one, of one journal, and I also participate. This was in 2011. I have something more. And you see my works. My works at the time were 251, the, of which only 86 were papers in uh, the uh, uh, Journal of Station Reports Index journals. Um, this uh, also at the time I had it by 16 theses and I have an H index which was 24. By the way, uh, I, I did a mistake, the first mistake that I did in that was that the, the, my, 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 I, I use a Scopus as a database for expressing that and the Scopus was not good. I have a problem, but my, maybe some of you have that. My name is Olive, Oliver and view for Oliver, I mean anywhere. Found thousands and thousands, and to this tale, it's really difficult. So I mean, I, I spent a lot sometimes, and always had the feeling that I couldn't get all my 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 information in years. Anyway, with that, I applied. And uh, by the way, now uh, we use in in, in Sydney, we use Google Scholar, which accounts for something that is specific for engineers. In engineering, sometimes we are um, we use, and also presently. Uh, we, we present our research many times in conferences, which are reviewed, which is not counted in some of the of the standard databases for that, and that is a complaint of many different branches of engineering. And then, if possible, maybe now that, nowadays, if, we, if 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 I had to change something, I would have also referencing where I have used Google Scholar, which is the one that we use in Simnet, just to to give information about that, where numbers are much higher, essentially because they count on, they count also the contributions in conferences and the references that you have on works, on papers you have published in conferences. Well, I had also some, some international visibility at that time. I've given about 20 plenary and semi-plenary lectures in some conferences one were more important than others, maybe that ones at the World's Congresses, which is our big conference that we have every every two years in uh, in the world. And then uh, I also had some activities and I saw t this is what I reported essentially in my in my part one, part B one. Uh, I've organized a number of conferences, not too many, but some co I've participated as chairman of a number of international conferences and as member of the organizing committee in some other uh, conferences. Uh, all over the world. Well, I, in general, you see that um, that my profile uh, shows a guy who works at the university, is not fully devoted to research, has to share its activity as a researcher with other things, but fully involved in research. All my, all my life, I liked working in research, I've enjoyed it, and I, I also f committed myself to, to, to research. 
I also, along the years, got some international visibility. That is maybe one of the specs that is maybe different what is expected from uh, an advanced grant from the guys, at least from the profiles I know of my colleagues that have got uh, an international uh, an advanced grant. They look for somebody who has somehow shown some visibility and some capacity of leadership in their in, 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 in its field, in his field in the in the international community. But you know, these these figures I'm not understanding. I think that. I know a number of advanced grants in my in my community, and um, I would say that my figures, even in the university, I know many people that have better better figures than I in the, in, 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 the, in UPC. And so I, I, I won't say I won't, I won't be too humble. I would say, okay, I, I'm a fin active in research. I've been uh, working in research for many years, but I know a number of people that have never applied to a, to, a, to an advanced grant who have better fuels than I, and in that sense, it, they could have applied also uh, uh, to, to these kind of grants. In that sense, my message is in going to try to be optimistic. So sometimes I have attended a number of these meetings, and sometimes I see the, the, the message that you receive is that this is so difficult. It's, you have to be, I mean, a genius to get one of these grants. You have to be, uh, I mean, a sort of Nobel Prize. And that's the message that I got the first time I attended one of these meetings. At that time, UPC didn't organize them, but it was organized by Yagaur, I think, many years ago. And then a couple of persons from, I don't know where, and a consulting came, and they got the message that without them, you couldn't get a prepared proposal. Which I was, I mean, I was, in, in fact, very, quite disappointed after that. Because that is the message I got, and at that time I didn't apply, because I got the message that it was too difficult and it was impossible. It was going to be impossible for me. And well, after that you see that it's possible. In fact, I applied for the first time in 2011, and I failed. I anticipated I failed. I passed the the first round, but I failed the second. Look at the title of the proposal. Of course, I don't want you to, to know my, my, my field, but just to say, just I, ins I think that I made a mistake. I insisted in modeling. So I wanted to propose some computational techniques in order that some computations for material analysis or material, no, I didn't mention the word material, by the way. Some computations could be accelerated by using special specific techniques. And I got a message that I think it was useful for me. The message is that, okay, you have a profile that could be okay, but your proposal is not enough risky, so to speak. Which is surprising. Although, I mean, uh, if you go to the web page of ERC, you see the word high risk, high benefit. That's, this is a, an axiom of that. But my, my, sometimes you you feel a little reluctant to, 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 to be too risky. No? So that's, that's maybe our feeling many times whenever we, for instance, we, we, we present proposals in other uh, environments. No? Not be too risky because they will say, well, that's not feasible and so on. And I think at that, at that, that time I was punished by that. I didn't take enough. That was my feeling. Of course, it's my feeling that I got from the reviewer's comments. Okay. So then uh, I applied for the second time in 2012. Okay. And then, look, I just added uh, two words, which was design, the word design, and the word materials. Okay. Then, essentially, I just, in, look, in my first project, I considered the, the word analysis. I wanted to analyze something, and this was not, probably, this was not clear for the reviewers what this was uh, uh, used for. And then I tried to, to send a message that uh, I was on t that there was an application field for my, for, my, for my proposal. An application that could be, as has, has been already commented here, applied to many other fields, essentially create synergies with respect to material science, for instance, although I never claimed being an expert in materials and material science. And then I introduced the word computational material design. Which is, by the way, is a is a field that is emerging, emerging field in my in my area, and then I stated that I was setting my my project onto three legs, 
two, which was related to analysis, which was the computational multiscale mod modeling, which is a way of using modeling materials from lower scales to upper scales from the, the, the material point of view. Then computational aspects using, for instance, that, that uh, high performance reduce of the modeling techniques, which is something specific in our field, also emerging. But these were, so to speak, my first project. And then I added a third let, which is the optimization of the microstructure material, uh, microstructure. So that's what I did. The, the essential change that I did, that the, my, my first, uh, my, my, my lesson from the first, uh, from the first uh, um, application was that I had to do more risky. And that design the material is more risky than analyzing the material, so to speak. And that's what, the, 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 what, what I did. Well, now I will present some, some aspects of, the, of, of my, as, as uh, Antonio has done, so I will present some of my applications, and I would like to emphasize some specific aspects of it that maybe can be useful for it now. Well, that's the title, no? advanced tool, advanced tools. I just emphasized my title, tools. I don't, I don't want to design materials. I wanted to provide m tools for designing materials, okay? But then, I added something that could be more appealing for the community that was evaluating the, of the, the panel that was evaluating the debt, which is design of engineering materials. Of course, I kept inside engineering. There are many materials in which I'm not familiar with, but uh, engineering is uh, enough wide area in order to, that, to apply that. Okay, then, you know, the problem of this, in my opinion, maybe this has been also transmitted by Antonio, is that you have to say many things in little space. So you have five pages. To spay, to, 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 that is more important even in advanced grants. After many years of activity, you have to condense your CV in five pages, which is difficult. And also, that's common in all, in all, the, in all the applications, you have to um, say all what you want to do, all your ideas, in just five more pages in part B1 and 20 pages in Farbit. So that's something that I think is the most important. I, I imagine the guys I've been reviewing and in panels many times in my life. No? So uh, just, I mean, if one proposal brings your attention for some reason, you stay on it and then maybe you get more, you, you are more ready to positively evaluate that application. So I, for instance, started by a motivation, and that motivation was something that I thought pretty much about it. For instance, I, I just placed two, three examples. The examples I say, for instance, what about uh, self-healing mechanisms in processes in biomechanics, for instance, processes that, that need, need to be replaced from time to time, but then what about materials that are able to self-healing? Something that is in material science, it seems to be a new trend of that. Then I just took the example of what if we were able to decrease the weight of, of aircrafts in, in 30%. What would be the savings that we could have in terms of energy for that? And then a science fiction, fiction like the example, that one, what about if we can, someday we could take our car to the body shop and we enter into a tunnel, a sort of car washing tunnel, and then by temperature applying to your, your, your car, you get rid of all the of the um, of the battered part that you have there, no, that's something. Else. But of course, it's maybe today it's not feasible. But why not think that that could be feasible today? And my point is that well, my project will try not with solve it. We'll try to provide some help into the science, helping people design materials that someday are able to do that. Then I try to 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 use also some calling. Uh, some appealing words, for instance, something that, that after reading the literature and after my experience, uh, the, 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 the fact that the, the materials by design, so being able to design materials rather than offer a catalog of materials, that's something that also sets some, some additional uh, newnesses to my proposal. So I also try to, to, to 
state the groundbreaking nature of my of my project. I just use some. I just considered the possibility of including some statements that are found in the, in the literature, like that this, this Parkinson law. So our applications will invariably grow to fill up increased computer memory, processing capabilities, and storage space. So these kind of things, in order to keep the attention of the reader, that's something that, that I managed to, 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 to do. And also, well, then I just um, bold-faced uh, some sentences that I wanted to, 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 to just highlight. And um, some, from time to time, I introduce some figures, some figures that also, I mean, again, keep the attention of the, of, the, of the evaluator. For instance, we said, well, eventually, we should be able to increase the speed up of our computations in five orders of magnitude, something that you can do maybe in months, you can do just in seconds. No? Of course, I wouldn't, you cannot be so, 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 streak in that. So I said, oh, again, surely this is too optimistic. But that's just that if, if we succeed, if this kind of project succeed, that's part of the benefits that you can find and you can bring to the, to the problem into the future. Okay? They also intended to, engineering, we have that. Engineering is specific. Sometimes we have application. So I just to try what to, I wanted to, to present what kind of synergies can we can that project bring to the with other with other sciences like for instance the biomedical industry industry the environmental geosciences climate combustion and so on that's what there were met, m messages that I was sending in my proposal essentially to keep the interest of the reader on my on my on my proposal. Then I also try to send the message that I had thought about the, the, the proposal and that I had clear, a clear idea about how was I going to, do, to work, at least how was I going to approach the problem. No? And then I, I emphasize, I just placed an item on methodological approach and I said diagrams like that, that I repeated also in the second part, you would just say, well, my project is like this, three legs table, which has one leg in every of the areas I'm going to, to, to explore, and then there is something that has been explored, but something that is going to be explored, the frontiers. I, I, I just introduced the word frontiers to cross in my, in my application. And then I specified what are these frontiers, what are the challenges that I expected to, fi to, to, to find in that, in, that, in, that, in that project. And then these are more technicalities. I tried to be not too much technical in that part, as has been also commented before, because, I mean, it's supposed that this part will be dread by someone who's in your field, but not completely in your field, so you cannot go to the very deep details of, of what we are doing. No? And then I insisted in that, no? how the project was intending to cross interdisciplinary frontiers that uh, otherwise wouldn't be crossed or, or so far hadn't been crossed. No? And then I sent this kind of merchant. As also, I tried to, to, uh, in, to include some ingredients about assessment of, of, my, of my project to see, well, what would will say if that m m my project has been successful or not, and I also did that. The host institution, as you said, someone asked here, how is the host institution? I just say a few words on that. And I think that this is not a problem. Essentially, because I mean that the project is a, a individual grant, so you can get take, take that this grant and execute the project in any other in any other uh, host institution. Well, this is first part, part one, and just a few words about part two. Part two is more technical. It's the one that is supposed to be uh, just explored or read if you, are, if you pass part one. But of course, that was happened to me. Part one, I passed. Part, in the first, my first uh, application, I passed the, the part one. And I didn't, I, I didn't pass the part two. No. So I essentially, I just ex extended what I, I did in the in the explanation, in the technical explanation of the project in part one, now emphasizing, trying to so show that 
I had some ideas not only on what to do, but also in how to do it. And then, uh, including maybe the, 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 this, this three legs uh, uh, description, the, emphasizing the, the domains to be explored and the frontiers to be crossed, uh, the, of course, and the state of the art. I think that this, at least, is, 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 is used for uh, assessing how you know the subject. Because, uh, anyway, probably some of the people that you are mentioning here are going to be in the in the reviewer uh, are going to be the reviewers that you that you that, that look at, the, at your program. And uh, I also I also emphasize the, 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 the dangers, the difficulties I would uh, I expected to find. And and well uh, anyway Finally, I also did something that has been mentioned here. I also wanted to transmit the capacity, no, the, that, 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 that I have a plan for, for the execution of the project. Of course, I also talk about the impact on the project. And I, uh, let me tell you that I, delete, I didn't invent anything. I did believe on what I was saying. So, so, so really, I, think, I still think that, that, that we can reach the, the goals and do what we, we wanted to do, we planned in the project. And then, for instance, I just added one diagram like that, which is a synthesis of what, for instance, the, the way that I was trying to, to, to organize the project, the execution of the project. And in fact, I can tell you that we are doing like that, so we are not changing that. I, sense it for, for, I thought, thought of two time stages, one for the first two and a half years, and the other for the time, other two. I also, uh, there, there has been a question like that also on, in, in, uh, in, on that. I just established a check, checkpoint adjust, um, adjustment of project planning. And this was, I remember that, that this was praised by one of the reviewers. I said, well, this is something that I appreciated because, because that means that you are aware of the dungeon and you are ready for changing the orientation of, the, of your project just in case you need that. No? And also, I just, and maybe I think that um, Antonio has also said like that, I just uh, established some strands, uh, looking at the different <coughs> areas of my project, that, and some um, interaction between them. So how, how I was thinking of managing the interaction of this, of this project. And then, uh, uh, the second part of the project was more to assessment. To what it was devoted to, um, how to explore different familiars of engineering materials and apply the techniques that we had developed in the first part to the second part of the of, of my project. So this is essentially about my application. I'm just talking about the one that I succeeded, the 2012. And now, um, <coughs> that, let me tell you some words. Tell you some words about about my feelings that I got about these two applications of. Of, of an advanced grant. I think that they look, at least for advanced grants, uh, they look for some indications that you are reliable as a project executor. So they, they ask something which is, for instance, what are your impact on your field uh, in the international community? Give me your 10, mm, the, what you consider the, the 10 more relevant publications and the number of times they have been cited uh, in the ten in the last years, and and what comment a little about, about them? You know? I think that they appreciate also the international visibility. So they think that that uh, this is a way of stating what is the the your leadership in the in the community, and then the ability that you would have for lean, uh, being a leader of such a relevant project. You know? About the project, well, my, my experience is that you have to keep a good balance, dry, uh, risk, benefit. Both have to be high, I think. So you have to prove that even if you have a higher risk, if you take some risks, the expectable benefits would be also high. And I think that that's something that is relatively easy to detect uh, in, in a, in a, by reading a proposal. And, and that's something that I put some effort into in this, my second application. Also, uh, as I told you, I've gone from a 
to conservative application to, an, to another one which was more risky, entering into a field that I was not completely familiar with, which was material science. So, I mean, I, I, I was especially careful about that. I, I, don't, I didn't want to be, um, to, 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 to show me as an expert in something that I don't know perfectly. I just was, was careful about that. Also, I mean, I wanted to introduce fields that I had never worked in. But, I mean, keeping some uh, distance about, uh, about my personal knowledge and what I was going to explore. How the application, I coincide very well, very well about uh, what Antonio said. Don't improvise. So I think that that's something that you have to prepare long, long in advance. Think about it. Think about it. Don't start writing. Think about that. Think about what would you say, how would you say it, how are you going to present. I mean, in the shower, or maybe uh, in your every, everywhere. Uh, about about the opinions, I, I didn't get too many opinions for my for my applications. I just got the opinions of some of my colleagues who had got an advance grant. So I know them of them. By the way, just a parenthesis, there is a number of them. I think that in computational mechanics, I know at least eight or nine people in Europe who have got an advanced grant. They are engineers, all them engineers, civil or mechanical or something like that in, in, in Europe. And then, to, in, in our institution, we have three advanced grants. In Sydney, we have three advanced grants. So I just asked to my two colleagues that got an advanced grant in advance, and ask their opinion. And of course, they helped me, not too much. I mean, I didn't ask. Maybe that was a little risky for my part, because. But I thought that if I asked 20 people, I would have 20 different opinions. So, so I mean, I wanted to be just careful about that and ask opinion to people who were, I mean, qualified for giving me an opinion, not about the, the, the technicalities of my project, but about how is this, this, this application uh, ready for a, an advanced grant proposal. Another point is that I, I, I just look carefully at to what panel I was sending my application. In fact, I was hesitating about that because, I mean, looking at the description of the panels, I finally sent it to panel 8, for instance, which is engineering, PE8. And that is so general so that you thought, ah, oh, maybe, of course, there are different panels or panels in that. Maybe it's better that I send that to material science, for instance. And now I think that it would have been a great mistake. So look, I'll send it to, to the panel where you can find people that know you, know your work, that can understand your work. Even if you have, could feel tempted to send it to panels which are more appropriate to the title rather than to the contents. Okay? That's something that, and I'm glad about that. I think that I sent it to the, to the, to the right panel. And just a few words about what happens once you succeed in getting the project, which is my care. These really are beautiful projects. I've been along my life working in a number of projects in European calls, a number of them, since many years ago, so I know. No history of that. And in this project, you get uh, what is uh, written here, autonomy for research. So you get rid of the typical bureaucracy that you have more and more in European projects and also in other local projects. Every people controlling you, looking at what you're doing, sending reports after report. And, uh, I mean, you feel here, the feeling that you get, I mean, it's just one year of experience I can report of, but my feeling is that, I mean, you... What is, what is expected from you is that you do the project and you do it in your way. Okay? If you want to change the budget, you can change it. If that's, that's permission and that something that, I mean, in general, they, they, allow, they allow you to, to modify slightly <coughs> Sorry. the budget. The consortium, you know, if some of you have worked on European consortium of projects, that's, that's, I mean, the, la the, the time that you lose on arguing with your consortium, you have, to, you have to do that, you have to do that, and that you have it done, you don't work, you don't do what obligations are. I mean, you, you don't have anyone. You are the leader, you have your team, and you have, you have to be in good agreement with your team, but no exterior 
uh, forces acting on, on your project. Also, you don't have the pressure of a new officer also attending the meetings, which is my experience. And then the meetings were centered into, I mean, getting this guy happy with your work and, and not about, about, about uh, what the real work you, you, you do. No? Of course, they are very well financed. I got to say that I didn't restrict myself in the budget. And I got almost all the budget I asked for. Maybe that's specific for these grants for the advance grants, but in, in, our, in all cases I know, there are many that I learned, but in all cases I know, they also went to the upper part of the uh, admissible budget. And I think that they done, don't bargain. <coughs> and finally, at the end, getting the project implies a lot of work. I mean, I at the end of my career, and I never worked so hard as I'm doing now. I have maybe you now 12, 13 people working in the group, and then pressing, I mean, pressing them and trying that, that we work coordinately and that we produce something. And of course, that implies a lot of work, but let me tell you, as I think that anyone is entering here, Antonius and me, this, we are really lucky working with this kind of project. We are well financed, we do what you would, what you want, the research you want. You are not organize it as you want, and you are well paid for it. So what else can you do? As you say in Catalan, no? all you know. So uh, it's worth applying. It's worth applying. And I want to transmit, as my final words, the feeling of that it's, you, I mean, it's not that difficult. You have to just believe in it. Have, I mean, an active profile, an active profile, but then, I think that we engineers, we engineers, a technical uh, uh, an engineering university as ours, uh, we play our own leak. There is a leak inside this SLC project. There are panels which are specialized in engineering. So maybe our figures cannot compete with the ones of scientists working in other areas. Typically, I mean, we work in a different way. My papers have an average of 60 pages. There are papers in, in, in physics that have, have four pages. So every paper I write maybe take, at least for writing them, 15 times the paper that, that, that other people. So it's not comparable, but there is a community also in our panels in which people, I think that's my feeling, that people know this. And so we are competing with in your league, not in other leagues. And in that sense, I think that um, we should be more uh, optimistic. That's my message. I think that in our university, yes, I do the, in our university, the university, well, the university has some advanced grants. People from UPC has, I think that there are three people, or two people, three people of UPC that uh, have, have got uh, advanced grants. Maybe they are ascribed as researchers to other research centers of the UPC, but they are UPC. They have our background, they work in our environment. So there are some uh, people that have got this kind of grant. And I think that there are a number of people that could get it. That's not, I think it's just a matter of I mean, doing the right things and being confident in getting these grants. Ready for your questions. Which is an advantage, nothing, well, I don't know. The point is that they, I think that the difference in advanced grants is that they, in principle, they trust on you. So if you prove that you are a guy who has been able to have some visibility in the international community, and you prove that through some of your activity, then they don't need to just interview you. That's, that, that's my feeling of that. I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't care about that if I had to go. But th there is the possibility, well, I don't know, maybe you have said, you know, the good, good speakers sometimes, I mean, have advantages in that, no? And also the, the, the problem of English writing, no? So, uh, by the way, I want to insist in the fact that this, 
uh, consultants that offer you uh, the possibility to, to, to help you at the modest cost of 700 euros per day. That they they just I mean blah blah blah. But I mean the the the, the I didn't do it. I didn't. Do it. I do it. I did it myself. And of course my English is not uh, an English as uh, Oxford English, but it was enough for making people to understand what I wanted. I thought a lot, as Antonia said, in advance on the project on what I wanted to say, what I wanted to do, and what how I wanted to 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 write it. That's what. Uh, I don't think so, because I didn't. I, and all people I know, of course, I didn't mention, I had, but I didn't mention, I didn't consider it relevant, because this is research, and maybe a little word about fundamental research, sometimes, so to speak, but also in applied senses. Okay, so, I mean, I didn't mention any, I didn't mention any of my contributions. So, that you, there is so little space that you cannot mention, but you have to, to be selective with that, and that's one of the things that I removed. Okay, so thank you again to both of you.